Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Stroop, and I'm the Public Affairs Officer for Provincial Reconstruction Team for Route 1316. I'm coming to you today from Camp Atterbury, Indiana. I'd like to give a quick thank you to the USO and the Camp Atterbury staff for making it possible for us to talk to you today about the United to Reading program. Uh, first, let me give a quick hello to my wife, Jenny Lynn, and my boys, Braden and Luke. Hey, boys. Uh, can't wait to see you guys soon. I should be home uh, in, I guess, a couple weeks from the time that you guys get this message. Uh, as Commander McRae mentioned, uh, our mission is to train, advise, and assist the leadership of uh, Farah province in Afghanistan, uh, which is in line with the CNO's sailing directions of warfighting first, operating forward, and being prepared. So how does U uh, United Through Reading play into that, and why is United Through Reading important? Uh, deployments are challenging for families and service members, and I can talk to you a little bit about the value of United Through Reading, uh, both personally and professionally. Uh, first, I'll talk about it from a professional standpoint. I've had an opportunity to work with United Through Reading, uh, both when I was assigned to USS George H.W. Bush, and now uh, as a part of Provincial Reconstruction Team for uh, On all accounts, uh, they've been great to work with. They are extremely professional uh, in their demeanor from the top down, and their primary concern is service members and their families, uh, which I find to be terrific. A lot of times you see programs that uh, they've got their own agendas, uh, but United Through Reading, I can say from personal experience, their primary purpose is to connect service members while they're deployed and their families, which I can't, uh, can't say enough about. Um, when they found out that I was going to Afghanistan as a part of this PRT mission, they moved to support without hesitation. Uh, they provided books, they provided mailing materials, and they provided a camera for me to take and share uh, so all of our team members can talk to their families and read books to their children while we're gone thousand miles away. Personally, um, I've been in service for about six years. I'm married and I've got two kids, as I mentioned earlier. Um, in total, my kids have been alive for about 47 months uh, by the time you get this message. Uh, I've been deployed or away from home for 36 of those months, which, equi which equates to about 76% of their life I've been gone. Um, so it's important to me to connect with them any opportunity that I have, and United Through Reading provides me that opportunity. It helps me to feel like I'm a part of the team at home. Uh, one quick example, I'm sure you'll see a video here shortly, um, of Braden uh, watching me read him a book by Eric Carle, uh, and it was wonderful to get that feedback while I was out on deployment last year and to see him actually participate. Uh, it was kind of like I was uh, home even though I wasn't there. Uh, so in closing, I just want to express some gratitude uh, for the camera, the books, the mailers, and all of the endless support that United Through Reading has provided uh, me in my career, uh, both personally and professionally. Uh, again, I want to thank Camp Atterbury, the USO, for providing us the opportunity to use the reading room today. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day for, for the rest of the day today. And uh, again, I love you guys, Jenny Lynn, Braden, Luke. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there today, but I'll see you in a couple weeks. Love you. Bye.